This is your Muscogee Creek Nation legal update for November 20th, 2019. On October 21st, Ron Graham filed an amended petition with the Muscogee Creek Nation District Court, alleging that he had applied for citizenship under Article 2 of the 1866 Treaty and was denied citizenship by the MCN Citizenship Board. Mr. Graham seeks that the court grant him Creek citizenship affirm that the 1866 treaty guarantees his full and equal rights as a citizen of the Muscogee Creek Nation, and declare that the 1866 treaty is the supreme and controlling law. October 31st, candidate Stephen Bruner filed a motion for preliminary injunctive relief in the MCN District Court, alleging that many absentee ballots in the November 2nd primary election had not been received by voters in time for them to be returned and counted. The motion requests that the election continue as scheduled, but that the court orders that the election board continue to receive absentee ballots from the post office until November 9th. After a November 1st hearing on the matter, Judge Jeremy Pittman ordered that the election board shall continue to receive absentee ballots until November 9th. The ballots are ordered to be secured and organized separately using separate boxes for each day and kept in a secured location that is also separate from all the other ballots cast during the November 2nd primary. In addition, the court also ordered that the ballots received after 11 a.m. on November 2nd shall not be counted as part of the primary election results. November 7th, at a scheduled hearing on the matter, Judge Pittman dismissed the complaint for lack of jurisdiction. Because under MCNCA Title 19, the District Court can only resolve contests in post-election pre-certification petitions filed with the Election Board. Additionally, Judge Pittman ordered the Election Board to continue to collect ballots as previously ordered until November 9th. November 14th, at a hearing concerning the criminal case against candidate Berner, Judge Pittman issued various orders for motions filed in the case. The next hearing in this matter will be held on December 18th at 1.30 p.m. at the MCN District Court. Stay tuned to Muskogee Vision for continuing legal updates.